November 24th? Yeah, 24th. Uh, been working my way along and filling in the wood chips here. Got another scoop in here and pushed it in with the tractor. Got most of the rough work done with the tractor. I gotta come back with a shovel and just do some some fine work so we don't uh, crush the greenhouse. But uh, should be pretty well set. We got uh, a nice layer of wood chips most of the way around here. Um, I went in here and I put a scoop of soil, a nice uh, heavy clay soil in here, and I sistered up against that uh, spruce beam there with a piece of uh, cedar just to kind of fill that hole and that gap in. And then uh, packed and tamped that down. And then now uh, pushed all the uh, wood chips in here. I come back with a shovel and kind of tuck up in here. And that'll take care of this whole side of the greenhouse. That should make an even better difference in tightening things up and keeping it warm. And then uh, at some point when I can get back out here and organize a few miscellaneous items and get things picked up a bit out here, I can uh, come back and do this end. I don't want to fill too close to this doorway here because I have to rebuild this frame because um, I've had this on and off several times getting that uh, the big thermal mass tank in and out and uh, it never quite goes back on like it did and some of the lower beams here are rotting having been here for six years so I'll have to I'll have to rebuild that at some point I don't know when I'll get to that but uh, I'll probably fill in uh, this corner a little bit just to the pool as well with wood chips just to get a nice tight cap in here but even just that little back wall done has made a massive difference in uh, in heat retention and all so looking forward to seeing how this uh, last round helps out and uh, I don't know I just thought I would do a quick update and uh, show you it's actually it's really nice to have this end of the greenhouse cleaned up a little bit this is kind of a overgrown mess for a couple of years Anyway, just thought I'd share a quick update. Oh yeah, so we're back inside the greenhouse here, and uh, I did the uh, voltage regulator upgrade last night. Installed this nice uh, digital display, uh, current reading setup. Uh, this is a fully adjustable from 0 to 32 volts, I think. You'll notice it's reading 6.27 volts. And that's the output voltage. <laughs> so I think this meter either doesn't read correctly, or maybe I have some sort of a weird resistive issue in uh, the power supply. Although uh, the old power supply was putting out 5.2 volts and the Pi was running solid. So when I hooked this up last night, I adjusted it to 5.23 volts, knowing that 5.25 is the high limit for Raspberry Pi 4. And then I hooked up the Pi, and it tried to boot, and it couldn't quite boot. And I was like, what's going on? So I threw the DMM on it. Uh, I tapped right off the bus here and here, plus 5 and ground. And I was reading like 4.29 volts when that meter was reading 5.23. So I basically just kept the, uh, the DMM on it here and tweaked the adjustment until the voltage came up to 5.23 here on the board. So I don't know if this is just not well designed or maybe this is a faulty meter or whatever, but we got it tweaked in and working. Um, okay, what are you going to do, you know? Uh, I didn't want to revert back to the old regulator. This seems to be working okay, so we'll leave it as it is for now. Anyway, it looks nice. <laughs> Alright, so I just thought I would share that while I'm here. Obviously I'm in greenhouse upgrade mode. I guess I'll also briefly mention, uh, I meant to get a shot of this earlier in the day. We were pulling 65 watts in from the solar panel and we were charging around 45 or 50 watts into the battery bank. Even still with the sun angle as low as it is, we're pulling 22 watts off the panels and we're still charging plus 10 watts into the bank while we're running the Pi. 
Um, so this battery that you gave me, Dave, is working out fantastic. Seems to be holding its charge well, and uh, it's doing a great job. So uh, thanks again for that. Okay, I think that's it for in here. Except for Cricket has a little serenade for us, I think. Do you have a serenade for us, Cricket? You got something to say, Mr. Cricket? Peep, 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 peep. All right, all right, all right. No, he just wanted to throw in his two cents, I guess. All right. Pretty well touched up by hand here. Burmed up pretty good. Wraps right around till we ran out of material, basically. Which is not too far from the pool edge. Don't want to get too close in there anyway, because when the pool is full, it expands out quite a bit. And 4,400 gallons of water, call it 4,000, call it 4,000 gallons of water. That's about 32,000 uh, pounds. So we don't want it crushing the greenhouse and the pool fills up. If we have wood chips in too close and the pool expands, it would crush in on the greenhouse. So we're trying to avoid that. The diameter of the base of this pool comes like right almost tangential to the end of to the edge of the greenhouse. It just touches up against it. Um, anyway, we'll see how that performs now. Uh, I don't think we have tremendous cold in the forecast anytime real soon, but uh, it's supposed to be relatively cool at night. We'll have a, a general idea of how well that's working, and then of course when we do finally get a nice cold snap, we'll be able to uh, really assess how well we're retaining heat. Uh, I think that's it for today. So uh, for now, I'll say thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, today is Tuesday, so 9 p.m. Pacific, 12 a.m. Eastern Time, Comrades in Farms, here on YouTube and also on Truth Frequency Radio. Hope you'll tune in and join us. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.